10 things to help you navigate the airport for a first time traveler. You will either be excited or nervous or both if especially it's your first time traveling. Yes, I remember my first time traveling. I was super, super excited. I was nervous. I was frustrated at the airport. I was having all the feelings that comes together if it's your first time traveling. Now I'm more comfortable due to back and forth traveling. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a few essential steps that will guide you through as a first time traveler and before you set foot to the airport before you set off from the house to the airport you must do these things i'm about to mention that means try to do it some few days before your traveling date so you are sure you are completely set and ready to travel the first i have on my list is learn the different types of baggage and the rules this is very very important most airlines allow each passenger to have one or two checked in baggage which should not exceed 23 kilos if it's more than 23 kilos you end up paying a hideous amount you are also allowed to have um, one carry-on luggage or um, hand baggage many people call it and that's who should not exceed 12 kilos the check-in baggage is much bigger than the hand baggage if you haven't flown before then i would advise you spend some time learning about the different types of baggage and which items you are allowed to bring and which one that is prohibited checked baggage must be weighed and drop off at the airlines checked in desk at the airports checked baggage are stored in the hold of the aircraft and it cannot be assessed during the flight however when it comes to hand baggage or carry-on you can choose to have it with you inside the flight and store it in the cabin of the aircraft where the passengers are sitting hand baggage must be taken through security so therefore there are some items that are prohibited to have in your hand baggage example items like liquid over 100 ml or items that can be used as a weapon like gas lighters which can cause fire or any sharp object like knives scissors razor blades mirrors etc any prohibited item will automatically be taken out from your hand baggage you are also allowed to have a small accessory bag like a laptop bag or something like that number two weigh your travel baggage at home it is very necessary to weigh your baggage to get the right weight before you leave to the airport else you risk you will end up you have to toss some of your belongings away or you will end up paying an expensive amount at the airport due to an overweight of your baggage i always weigh my baggage before setting off to the airport you can buy a small simple uh, manual skill or automatic skill so you can always wear your baggage before you set off to the airport before i move on to my nest take the chance to watch one of my first videos my first time traveling international yes i'm gonna put the link up here so do kindly take the chance to watch it the third one i have on the list is install the airline that you're going to use their mobile app this is very important and it can be very important to in the later who knows you might be traveling again installing the airline mobile app this will help you keep updates over any flight delays and cancellations you can also check in online using the mobile app which is easier and smart on the same mobile app you can join the airline loyalty program who knows one day you could be a frequent flyer and this gives you so much points each time you fly you can use your point to get free flights or shop in the plane for some of the items they are selling it could be some 
fancy glasses, perfumes, jewelry, etc. It can also help you even upgrade your seats for free and so on. I always use KLM. I have the KLM mobile app, which is very smart. I can even buy my flight ticket from the mobile app. I can check in online. I can choose seats. I can check the status of my, uh, my travel journey. You can do a lot of things on this app. So it's very smart. It makes it easier. So I would advise the airline that you'll be traveling with and if you think in the future you're going to be traveling with the same airline it's pretty advisable to install their mobile app so you can get in more points and all that number four choose comfortable clothes and appropriate attire for the journey you do not want to wear summer clothes whilst your destination is in winter else you're gonna freeze like crazy or vice versa you should always put in consideration the climate of your final destination whereby you'll be traveling to if you're not sure you can always google on the internet to find out the climate or the season um, your final destination they are in it's very important these days you can find so much information on the internet so be advisable with this wear appropriate attire by not showing too much kind one at Kipo Airport in Amsterdam House, Transident, I saw a pretty woman with the most not so comfortable clothes on showing enormous skin from her buttocks and everyone was just staring at her and I'm sure she didn't care. She was wearing something like this. I've put it here on the screen. And I wonder how on earth can she walk around at the airport with those clothes? I am sure I would have fallen down if I realized everybody was staring at me like that. It's not like you're going to the nightclub or strip club. It's the airport for Christ's sake. You know, at the airport, there it's, it's international. There are so many different kinds. So just sometimes, just don't dress only for yourself sake. Dress appropriately so people doesn't just stare at you some people will not care but yeah sometimes the way we dress can even offend others so we should put this also into consideration the fifth don't forget your travel documents this is another important factor to consider not to forget your required travel documents like your passport your flight ticket you look at if it's required your insurance or any other essential document you are required to have with you make sure you keep all documents handy or in your handbag and soft copies of your documents on your phone and be ready to present them to security or during boarding if needed keep checking occasionally to make sure you still have your document in place with this i can do it 100 times i guess that's the disease most uh, f travelers have two seconds you have to check if you're uh, i have my passport sit down last two seconds oh let me check i check again you know it can be so nervous yeah so it's important you just once in a while occasionally just check if you still have your travel document in place number six arrive early it is important to arrive two hours before your departure it is always a good feeling to arrive early at the airport the last thing you want is to miss your flight due to lateness and you know the airline is not gonna wait for you when you arrive early you can check in your baggage you can go through immigration and then you can go through security then you can proceed to your gates now you can relax you can have a drink or beer or some snacks whilst you are relaxing then you know you are set to travel so it's very important you arrive early at the airports number seven seat numbers and boarding pass each passenger has a seat number whether you bought a seat or not as long as you have the flight ticket from that particular airline you automatically have a seat number so as a first time traveler when you enter the plane before you enter look very carefully on your boarding pass the seat numbers is written on it so you don't just go and sit anywhere 
is not short row if you are not sure you can always ask the next passenger people are always nice and kind to assist or you can ask a crew member where your seat is the seat numbers will be on the top of where people are the passengers are certain so you can find your seat numbers the boarding pass will be issued to you after you have checked in at the front desk number eight bring along neck pillow guys this pillow here has saved my life many 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 times i love it it's so good it's comfy and it's really support your neck and your head when you are certain for you know six seven eight hours sometimes in the flight so when you want to sleep you can just be sitting and sleeping but rely on your head and neck on it it's very nice I always fly with KLM and KLM always have a small pillow for each passenger on the seat. It looks something like this here I have on my bed, but this is very big. The ones they have is very small for each passenger, some small white one. I don't think that is very um, comfy. It's not so comfortable because when you put it at the back of your neck, it keeps sliding up and all that. So. If you're at the airport, you can see many travelers have this kind of U-shape um, neck pillow. It's really supportive and it's very good. So as a first time traveler, I would advise you get one yourself. This one is very important. Last but not the least, where is it to remove shoes? Yes, going through airport securities can be stressful. And if you know what to expect, then you can also prepare yourself for it where is it to remove shoes like sneakers vans if you are into those kind of shoes and you are more comfortable and it's easy to remove because you're going to remove your shoes your belt your jewelry your watches at the security especially when you are transiting so you have to put this into consideration but if you want to slay like myself when i'm traveling especially when i'm traveling in the winter once a while i wear a boot like this the knee boots yeah it's not so high but yeah because i want to slay i don't care about all the formalities i'll just wear it and yeah it can be a bit pain in the ass to remove it but if you don't want the hassle you can skip such kind of boots and i can also wear most of the times i wear this ankle boot it's very easy to maneuver myself around the airport and walk it has a block heel so it makes it a bit more easy and comfortable to walk in I'm not so much fan of vans and sneakers, but if it's good for you, you can wear some things and you are good to go. Shoes that are easy and you are comfortable with it, easy to remove. If you have seen or watched one of my video um, during the pandemic, the COVID, I made a video traveling during the pandemic from Ghana via Amsterdam to Denmark. I was wearing this same um, knee boots. If those who have watched the video you can tell I was wearing this boot and I love it I'm more casting my bawasum yeah grow so unless you don't care about such things then you are good to go number 10 which is my last try not to get stressed out by security and do not leave your baggage unattended by any means you can be anxious when going through security especially when it's your first time but please try to relax as they are just doing their job and try to follow whatever they ask you to do. Take your baggage with you everywhere at the airport you go, whether you're going to the restaurant or you're going to the washroom. Never ask another passenger or a stranger at the airport you don't know. Even if you know the person, unless you're traveling together, do not leave your baggage unattended because you never know. It can get stolen or somebody can try to hide something in it which can lead you into a big trouble okay so guys this bring me to the end of this video and i hope you find it informative if it's your first time traveling and you're watching this video i hope it goes easy on you and relax everything will be fine and if you have traveled before if whether it's domestic or international flight i want to know how was your experience put it down under the comment section below. See you in my next video.